What's up? You got Danita with Booty Bands and today we are at a restaurant so we can teach you that when your hunger cravings are kicking in, what to order and still be able to lose weight. Most times when you go to restaurants, you're on a waiting list. And so you're sitting for, could be up to 30 or maybe an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, where you're waiting and waiting, in which you're getting hungrier and hungrier. And what that means is you're starting to crave bad things at this point. Tip number one, your appetizer. I know this sounds cliche, order something healthy, but I'm serious, try not to order something that's fried. Also try to order something that has some protein and some substance to it, not just a bunch of sugar like bread. So this is a great one to share. So um, something that you know, you're not gonna get too full on. Other options for a healthy appetizer would be something that has greens or vegetables. So a salad or like a side vegetable dish. Trust me, I know that your hunger cravings are kicking in, but the second you start ordering healthy foods and you get full on healthy foods, you won't be craving the bad foods anymore. When looking at the menu, I know that the most unhealthy items are gonna stand out to you, again, because you're hungry, but if you start to focus more in on your fishes or something with protein, not just pasta, okay? I don't want you to full, fill up on just pasta. I want like um, fish and vegetables or like protein and a salad, something like that that you get full on that because honestly, I challenge you that if you order something healthy and you eat it, you'll notice those cravings will go away. It's just your blood sugar is low right now and that's what's speaking. So just got my entree and I'm so excited. I have two different versions that you can see of what I ordered. So the first one is a white fish. It's called a macadamia nut halibut. And this one's phenomenal. What I did different on it, instead of the potatoes, which came with butter and I could not remove the butter, instead I got mushrooms instead with asparagus and some tomatoes. Um, this is loaded with butter as well, so I asked to put the, uh, the sauce on the side. So excited. It looks so tasty. The next entree I have is a salmon dish. It looks like this is some sort of um, black risotto with a little side salad here. As well, I put the dressing on the side. So little small adjustments, you know, like instead of like completely um, cooking the salmon in straight butter, instead they just did a little bit of some olive oil and you can see it's a little bit more dry than just saturated in a bunch of butter. All these little small, uh, decisions and adjustments that you make are very essential to choosing healthy things for dinner. Um, for example, usually at dinner I tend not to go too crazy on carbohydrates, your starchy carbohydrates. Instead, I go for more of my, my fibrous carbohydrates. So sticking more with the vegetables later at night is going to be key. And as well, just dressing on the side. If you want a little bit of the dressing or the sauce or whatever, you can add your fork into it and then go into it, but you don't need it smothered all over your food. Little tiny adjustments, you're gonna notice your waist will start to get smaller and smaller as well. You won't be fluffy in the morning. You won't wake up you know, overly stuffed or overly full. You're gonna feel lighter and more thin and tighter and toned when you're just focused more on just protein and uh, vegetables. Mmm, this is so amazing. Trust me, you make the best decisions when you're not thinking about your blood sugar. So, go into it with your mind right, pick the healthiest foods, make the smartest little tiny adjustments, and you're gonna notice the biggest changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my food. I hope this helped you. If you liked it, go ahead and hit subscribe to see more videos like this.